So welcome to a mega test of microphones. I've got six different microphones. I've got a um, uh, shotgun, I've got a camera mic, I've got a lavalier or lav mic, I've got a stereo mic, I've got a studio mic, I've got a dynamic mic. Uh, so uh, five condenser condensers, one dynamic, uh, one stereo, the others are mono, but recorded to stereo. Uh, your job is to listen to each um, uh, bit of audio and first of all decide how much you like it from 1 to 10 and number two uh, decide uh, which actually make a guess which microphone has captured uh, the particular audio you are listening to so I'm, I'll be recording to all six microphones at the same time uh, so it always you will hear exactly the same thing just uh, recorded captured through a different uh, microphone so I hope you will enjoy it by the way uh, this is a fairly small room but the echo is quite small because you know it's well acoustically prepared for recording uh, audio uh, it's not ideal though um, uh, so bear that in mind and um, the purpose of this test is just basically decide which microphone gives uh, best results for what we want to achieve so i'll be talking to to it from one foot away roughly like i am now a bit closer than uh, one meter away and I, and then i will come super close half a foot away and i'll be whispering as well uh, so um, uh, that would be for like asmr video types you know so let's get started So I'm talking now to all six microphones from around one foot away and uh, I want you to decide how much do you like the sound from one to ten. And also I would like you to guess uh, which microphone captured the audio that you are listening to right now as I'm recording to all six microphones together. So I'm talking now to all six microphones from around one foot away and uh, I want you to decide how much do you like the sound from one to ten. And also I would like you to guess uh, which microphone captured the audio that you are listening to right now as I'm recording to all six microphones together. So I'm talking now to all six microphones from around one foot away and uh, I want you to decide how much do you like the sound from one to ten. And also I would like you to guess uh, which microphone captured the audio that you are listening to right now as I'm recording to all six microphones together. So I'm talking now to all six microphones from around one foot away and uh, I want you to decide how much do you like the sound from one to ten. And also I would like you to guess uh, which microphone captured the audio that you are listening to right now as I'm recording to all six microphones together. So I'm talking now to all six microphones from around one foot away and uh, I want you to decide how much do you like the sound from one to ten. And also I would like you to guess uh, which microphone captured the audio that you are listening to right now as I'm recording to all six microphones together. So I'm talking now to all six microphones from around one foot away and uh, I want you to decide how much do you like the sound from one to ten. And also I would like you to guess uh, which microphone captured the audio that you are listening to right now as I'm recording to all six microphones together. And now I am one meter away from all six microphones and by the way the levels uh, are all the same almost except for the shotgun which was a bit louder and I'm going to normalize them to minus three. So how much do you like it from one meter away from one to ten? And that was the sound of the door and uh, make a guess which microphone has captured the audio that you are listening to right now. 
and now I am one meter away from all six microphones and by the way the levels uh, are all the same almost except for the shotgun which was a bit louder and I'm going to normalize them to minus three so how much do you like it from one meter away from one to ten and that was the sound of the door and uh, make a guess which microphone has captured the audio that you are listening to right now and now I am one meter away from all six microphones and by the way the levels uh, are all the same almost except for the shotgun which was a bit louder and I'm going to normalize them to minus three so how much do you like it from one meter away from one to ten and that was the sound of the door and uh, make a guess which microphone has captured the audio that you are listening to right now and now I am one meter away from all six microphones and by the way the levels uh, are all the same almost except for the shotgun which was a bit louder and I'm going to normalize them to minus three so how much do you like it from one meter away from one to ten and that was the sound of the door and uh, make a guess which microphone has captured the audio that you are listening to right now and now I am one meter away from all six microphones and by the way the levels uh, are all the same almost except for the shotgun which was a bit louder and I'm going to normalize them to minus three so how much do you like it from one meter away from one to ten And that was the sound of the door and uh, make a guess which microphone has captured the audio that you are listening to right now and now I am one meter away from all six microphones and by the way the levels uh, are all the same almost except for the shotgun which was a bit louder and I'm going to normalize them to minus three so how much do you like it from one meter away from one to ten and that was the sound of the door and uh, make a guess which microphone has captured the audio that you are listening to right now okay and now I'm speaking to all those microphones from roughly half a foot away I am speaking a little bit more quietly for obvious reasons and now I'm whispering to them let's see which one you like best so from one to ten how do you rate this particular audio also make a guess which microphone captured this particular audio so now I'm gonna be speaking I'm speaking again a little bit louder so it might be easier for you to make a guess which microphone captured this particular audio okay and now I'm speaking to all those microphones from roughly half a foot away I am speaking a little bit more quietly for obvious reasons and now whispering to them let's see which one you like best so from one to ten how do you rate this particular audio also make a guess which microphone captured this particular audio so now I'm gonna be speaking I'm speaking again a little bit louder so it might be easier for you to make a guess which microphone captured this particular audio okay and now I'm speaking to all those microphones from roughly half a foot away I am speaking a little bit more quietly for obvious reasons and now I'm whispering to them let's see which one you like best so from one to ten how do you rate this particular audio also make a guess which microphone captured this particular audio so now I'm gonna be speaking I'm speaking again a little bit louder so it might be easier for you to make a guess which microphone captured this particular audio okay and now I'm speaking to all those microphones from roughly half a foot away I am speaking a little bit more quietly for obvious reasons and now I'm whispering to them let's see which one you like best so from one to ten how do you rate this particular audio also make a guess which microphone captured this particular audio 
So now I'm gonna be speaking. I'm speaking again a little bit louder, so it might be easier for you to make a guess which microphone captured this particular audio. Okay, and now I'm speaking to all those microphones from roughly half a foot away. I am speaking a little bit more quietly for obvious reasons. And now I'm whispering to them. Let's see which one you like best. So from one to ten, how do you rate this particular audio? Also make a guess which microphone captured this particular audio. So now I'm going to be speaking. I'm speaking again a little bit louder, so it might be easier for you to make a guess which microphone captured this particular audio. Okay, and now I'm speaking to all those microphones from roughly half a foot away. I am speaking a little bit more quietly for obvious reasons. And now I'm whispering to them. Let's see which one you like best. So from one to ten, how do you rate this particular audio. Also make a guess which microphone captured this particular audio. So now I'm gonna be speaking. I'm speaking again a little bit louder so it might be easier for you to make a guess which microphone captured this particular audio. Okay, so this is the end of the test. Time to tally up the results. Uh, so pause the video now if you need to. Let me now reveal the order of the microphones. Uh, by the way, uh, links to all the products I mentioned are below in the video. So please use those links so we can both benefit from it. So the first one was the dynamic mic, uh, Behringer XM8500. The second shotgun. The third was Zoom H5. Uh, number four was uh, Behringer C1 studio mic. Number fifth, uh, Rode Video Micro. I sometimes call it uh, Video Mic, but that's a wrong naming. Uh, Rode calls it Video Video Micro, actually. And the sixth one was the Love Mic. Now, uh, did you make good guesses? Now myself, I had I would have problems guessing actually which microphones were which. Uh, seriously, it was a difficult one. So, um, by the way, uh, there should be a poll somewhere here in the corners. Uh, so choose which microphone do you think scored best or whatever results you got or however you prefer. Vote however you like. Let's see uh, what the consensus is. So uh, let's discuss my re results. So for me, somehow the Behringer, the dynamic mic, uh, Behringer XM8500 sounded best. Uh, however, that doesn't mean that I'm going to be using it for most of my recordings. Actually, I have decided to use the studio uh, Behringer C1, which I'm using right now as well. Um, now why? It sounds really cool and boomy, uh, which is good in some situations, but also it lacks a bit of this richness that uh, C1 gives me, you know, so uh, I'm not sure if I want that boomy sound uh, all the time, you know, because might not be suited uh, for most people. That's my kind of preference. I might be wrong, obviously. Um, now, the incredible thing is that both those Behringer microphones, they're quite cheap, like this one costs around 20 quid and the other, the C1 also costs around 20 quid or 25, something like this. Incredible deal for microphones that are really well built, very heavy and good quality. And for YouTube, they're brilliant. You know, they may not be suitable for professional work, uh, but for YouTube, they're absolutely brilliant, I think. So Shotgun, uh, Rode NTG4, I've been using it for a while for most of my videos and uh, funnily enough I uh, didn't rate it very high. Uh, it was uh, fourth in my, <laughs> in my test uh, after uh, Zoom H5. Um, so that's a big surprise for me. So I thought that, you know, it's convenient to have a shotgun mic so I can, you know, uh, even if I move further, I can still hear myself really well. But then the test showed that actually C1 gives me better results. You know, I'm, so let me see, uh, for example, one uh, meter away, uh, C1, I rated eight and four and eight and the shotgun uh, five and six. Um, so oh, that's interesting, a bit of disparity. Actually, I'm going to discuss it in a moment. So. Uh, Hope, I hope that you've taken part in the poll. Now, let me discuss uh, the, my conclusions now, because uh, I think that's important. 
so I have some notes here I'm going to be reading and, and uh, talking to you at the same time so it's really hard to decide which microphone is best as the test is very subjective for many reasons uh, you know I use different uh, it depends on the headphones I use and if you use different headphones you will get different sound uh, I also have different speakers than you do uh, we are listening in a different environment as well in a different room uh, so that's uh, subjective funnily enough for even for me on the one day I would listen to a microphone and I would give it eight points and then on another day maybe only six you know uh, also when I was listening and looking at me talking in the video I would often give different rating than without looking at the video just listening you know which I thought wow that is interesting um, another thing is um, so I liked some microphones uh, when they were playing via speakers and then I liked others when I was listening through uh, headphones you know so that was also kind of uh, interesting uh, the other thing is noise um, I had a preference for less noise uh, but then I discovered that if I listen at a bit lower level, so not so loud, the noise is, is quite manageable with all microphones. So I first I listened to, to them very loudly, you know, uh, and I could hear lots of noise with some microphones like C1, for example, and the shotgun performed kind of best. And I think the dynamic Behringer also performed uh, quite well regarding the noise uh, at high level. So, I can draw some conclusions and the conclusions are they're a bit long so bear with me so if what you are recording is loud so maybe a concert or some people shouting or speaking loudly uh, then you can get away in most microphones uh, probably you know uh, in most situations as well but if you are recording something quiet like maybe whispering or, or people talking generally quietly um, then uh, you might be better off uh, if you invest in a bit of a in a good microphone and a good actually audio interface that's important as well um, if you have a zoom h5 uh, sorry this is zoom h1 it's better than probably than your sound card in your computer however it's not as good as zoom h5 or bearing a umc interface that i have regarding the noise and the, the and how it sounds yeah so that's important as well now for youtube videos all microphones i think they did really well with some microphones obviously performing better than the others uh, so if you are on a budget you can uh, buy a fairly cheap microphone as long as it's uh, used as it's meant to be so for example uh, a love mic uh, it's up close to the source of sound so maybe under on my neck or very close to me so I can interview someone speak to it not too close speak to it and then direct it to the other person and it might be perfectly fine you know we don't need both to have a lav mic or I don't need to have a shotgun or I don't need to hold a uh, zoom h5 in uh, h5 yes <laughs> zoom h5 in my hand and move it forward and backwards and um, so this would be good enough yeah but there are some limitations so c1 is my favorite mic but obviously i'm not gonna be using under my neck you know that would be ridiculous so but anyway you know it ah so obviously testing each scenario is always a good idea so before you do actually record something make a test recording listen to it and and decide whether the quality is good enough for you you know for your purposes okay so um for singing uh, or some other louder activities concerts people speaking uh, loudly uh, that can be mono obviously uh, you should consider a studio dynamic mic so as i said c1 is good bearing a, a dynamic is also quite good especially dynamic is better for live performances when people hold it in their hands and and uh, sing to it from a close distance St the con studio mic would not be quite good at, at this uh, studio mic is better if it's further away maybe you know a foot away or, or even half a meter away whereas dynamic is best when when it's held quite close and sometimes even like really close um to the mouth you know obviously you need to use some kind of a foam or, or something just to protect it a little bit however when we shout and sing very loudly you know obviously that um, protection is not as important as when we speak in studio but always it's a good idea to have this yeah 
So Rode NTG4, the shotgun, uh, as I said, it turned out to be the cleanest, but it was actually lacking a little bit of the richness. It didn't have that richness of the sound that I noticed C1 had. So um, if richness of the sound is important, you can get yourself C1. And the price difference is, is incredible. The C1 is like eight times cheaper than, than the NTG4+, Plus, which is incredible. However, NTG4 uh, Plus, <laughs> NTG4 and, Pl and NTG4 Plus, they're kind of the same, just that there is a battery in the Plus version as far as I know, but they're exactly the same microphones. Um, so on its own, this shotgun mic, it performs quite well. As I said, I used it in other videos and when I listen to it, it's perfect, it's fine. So there's nothing wrong with that microphone. It's a great shotgun microphone, you know. Now, Zoom H5 uh, and Behringer C1, were a little bit noisier than the uh, shotgun and dynamic but very manageable again if if i wasn't uh, listening to to it at the very loud levels uh, the noise was manageable and obviously we can always use some noise reduction a little bit you know so absolutely fine now love mic and on camera mic were the noisiest uh, but in the right setup, uh, they are really good. So most people will not complain about the quality if you cover the basics like the levels and the recording uh, to, an, to a fairly okay recorder. So if you record to at least Zoom H1, it should be, uh, this, uh, the, the sound should be quite good. And if you have something better like Zoom H5, you know, uh, that will be brilliant for sure. You know, so uh, use the microphones properly uh, cover all the basics and you will be fine th th that's it now another conclusion is that you also need a good audio interface as i mentioned before to eliminate um noise so the more noise there is the louder the re recorded sound needs to be to overcome it and still it may not be enough you know so if you can afford uh, buy some good audio interface so either something portable like zoom h5 or something cheaper than this uh, like bearing a umc interface uh, 204 or 404 whatever you can afford um, and actually the umc interface the bearing a umc interface it's even better at recording through xlr than uh, zoom h5 from my test at least you know of the microphones i have so now at home i'm recording through uh, Behringer UMC. Uh, I was uh, thinking about using this one, but Behringer is much better actually. Um, this one is great for other things, portable things, and it's still good enough. It's not bad. It just Behringer UMC. It's a little bit better and more convenient for me, you know. So do invest in in things like this uh, because. Um, it's sometimes better to invest in the recording, the audio interface, uh, than to invest in a better mic. Because better mic will still be noisy if you're recording through something cheap like a Zoom H1 or your computer's sound card. So you may be surprised you bought an expensive mic and it still sounds noisy and not so great. So here you are. I'm thinking, get a fairly okay microphone, don't go crazy, and, and then buy some... Uh, audio interface professional you know good quality audio interface only then once you've got that uh, upgrade to to a better microphone if you still think you need to get a better microphone or a different microphone like in my case i have different microphones some are better some are worse but that they are all useful also each microphone this is important needs to be connected directly to its dedicated port uh, as any converters cause noise. So if I'm recording um, using a microphone that has a mini jack, I should be plugging it to a dedicated mini jack port. So for example, in Zoom H1, I have a dedicated port. In Zoom H5, there is a dedicated uh, jack port in the capsule. So I would plug in here. And uh, if I'm recording to USB interfaces that are XLR, I need to connect um, uh, XLR microphones. If I don't have XLR microphones and I use some converters, so uh, for example, I have this one and I made a video about this, or I can use uh, this thing, uh, that's uh, for a different purposes, but they're also useful. Um, they introduce extra noise and sometimes even uh, remove certain frequencies and the sound is really poor. It's not necessarily noisier, 
uh, but it just flat. I don't know. It's just not so good. Really, not not great. If you know, so don't use. Um, avoid basically any converters uh, if you can. That's really really important. Now, obviously, you can use a quality USB microphone. So, for example, you can buy a, a quality dynamic microphone that's uh, not XLR but a USB, and Rode makes some of uh, at least one of the dynamic microphone that's a, U that's a USB microphone and also you have an XLR version. So if you don't want to invest into audio interface, you can buy the one with a USB interface, which is also great. So again, you need to consider which option um, you want to go to. Okay, so basically that's my uh, summary of the whole test. Now, what I wanted to say is that the way I recorded it was through actually OBS Studio. I wanted to record it through uh, Adobe Audition CC, but on the day when I was recording it, I couldn't get the ASIO for all drivers to work. And ASIO for all drivers are only drivers that uh, allow me to record all those microphones together. Um, uh, and I couldn't make it work. And you know, I was uh, restarting the computer, doing this, that. And for a few days before, prior to that, everything worked fine. I was recording things and on the test day it didn't. But it doesn't matter because OBS Studio has got good audio options. And I think for what we did, what I did in this test, it was good enough. We didn't really need to record at the highest level possible, uh, especially when we are listening to those videos through YouTube. There is anyway some compression what we needed is to hear the difference between various microphones and how they perform depending on the distance and the way i was speaking so here we are guys i hope you found it really useful and uh, if you have any questions uh, let me know in the comments i'll uh, i'll try to answer them fairly you know uh, within uh, within a day or two uh, thank you for sharing this video and liking and uh, take care see you in the next video